So how does AI actually guarantee 100K to my SMMA clients? Well, in this video, I'm gonna explain you exactly that. Now, first, there's four things that we have to go over, okay? There is getting leads and acquiring leads so that the AI system can take over. And when the AI system takes over, for example, like this, hey, Paul, I hope everything is okay. Are you still interested in a service? Yes, great. Can you please provide us your zip code? They provide the zip code. They say, apologize for the late response. Yes, that would be great. Perfect. How is your availability this Saturday at 10 a.m.? Sorry, I missed your message until now. Okay, no worries. This coming Monday. Yes, that works. Boom. Provide the address again. Got it. See you on Monday. Okay, that's exactly how our AI appointment setting system works. And I'm going to show you guys that in this video. But first, you have to acquire good leads. And by acquiring good leads, you have to make sure that number one, your offer is on point. Acquiring leads is always about the offer. The offer has to be good. So if you just put up a picture of a home remodeling, right, a kitchen or bathroom, it's not going to work. You have to have an offer behind it because someone else will outcompete you. Then the AI appointment setting system will take over like I just showed you here on Go High Level. But otherwise, if if you're just sending leads, then okay, you send them the leads and they close the deal. But I think personally that AI systems are much, much better. And I'll explain to you guys why. It's because if you can book those type of meetings like I was just showing you here, then you have to think about it like this. If you can keep 80% of every single client, so your churn rate is only 20% by setting the appointments, and if you are only sending leads where these people are complaining about the leads, they're not enjoying it, they're like, these leads are shit, but they might not just know how to book the appointments themselves, and you're only holding 60% of clients, and let's say out of all of these clients, you have 10 clients total, right, paying you 2K a month, okay? If you keep, like, 80% of them, you make 16K, right? Every single month if you churn two of these people. But if you churn 40% of these people, you'll only be making 12K. And the issue is that you will be losing, so you'll be losing 8,000 a month, okay? If you're only having 60%. And the problem is that means you have to sign for 8,000 a month plus an additional whatever you want to do to increase this number. And a lot of people don't look at it like that. They're just like, I signed a deal, I signed a deal, fuck churn. And then that's where you stagnate and that's where you stay the same. So to go back to what I was saying is to get good leads, which I'm probably not going to show you that on this video, I'm just going to show you how to set up the AI appointment setting system, is your offer needs to be good. After that, it's your creative. So does your creative um, spark an emotion? Does it speak to the customer that you're actually wanting to speak to? Does it show a good visual? All of these things will play a role. Number three is then the copy because how I run ads, and you guys can watch my other videos as well, is how I run ads is I run them completely broad and I let Facebook take care of this entire thing so that you're getting the best cost per lead possible with the best targeting, okay? And that all has to do with one, the offer, two, the creative and free to copy. And then four, of course, is how you use the AI appointment setting system to book those meetings that look exactly like this for your clients so that your churn doesn't go below 80%, right? Because you want to keep on growing month after month and you don't want to be battling a $8,000 battle where you have to make 8,000 just to break even and keep the same numbers that you were keeping. And then on top of that, sign another 8,000 so that you're actually growing the agency. And this is what a lot of people don't understand is a 20% or 40% might not seem that massive, but it is fucking massive. Okay, so let me show you guys how to set up this AI appointment setting system. And if you guys want, um, I'll leave my affiliate below. You guys can use it. Just let me know that you guys have used it. And then I'll send you a preset document that I've built for myself or my agency. And I'll send it to you. Okay, how it works is, okay, let me actually delete this one for you guys so that I can remake a new one. How it works is I'll always use a template. Okay, you can import a strategy or something like that. But I'll always use a template just to go off, okay? Pre-built. And let's say you're in whatever of these niches that you 
you're in, you can pick. But for example, I'm going to go in roofing and I'm not going to set this completely up for you guys on this video. I'm just going to give you guys a brief overview of how you can set it up yourself. Okay. A cool thing with it is this building my prompt is the most important part. And like I said, I'll send you guys over my document. You have to train the AI appointment setting system as good as possible within your niche. And that way it's going to respond correctly and not fuck up the conversations. Then when you go on objection handling, just put it on the persuader because you don't want to be harassing them. Same for qualifications, 67% and same for creativity, 50%. Okay. After that here, you can change the message delay and response delay, however you want to do it for yourself. So if you want to do it 30 seconds delay, five seconds, one minute, one hour, it doesn't necessarily matter. And in friendly and casual, you can like choose whatever tone that you wanted to speak in. Okay. After that, you go to step two. Step two is the initial message. Of course, look, Hey, first name, thanks for getting in touch with roofing company. What seems to be the is issue, blah, 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 right? You would change it to whatever yours is. Hey, we just saw you filled out a Facebook form and you were interested in getting a roof replacement. Is that correct? Right? That could be your initial message. And then you can add a whole bunch of qualification messages that I have also put in my document so I can send it over to you guys. But be as precise as possible, right? Zip codes, what they're looking for, what's broken, is there a thing, do they have insurance? Like all of these questions need to be into the qualification questions. And then booking is the cool one is we will just do automated AI booking just because this way we don't have to send a link and get them to book on that link and stuff like that. No, hey, does 10 a.m. work for you? Yes, it works for you. Boom, you book them right in. Job's done, right? You don't have to make another funnel, stuff like that. And, and whatever. And then you can just set the calendar to whatever calendar you have attached for that sub account. Okay. After that, your knowledge. So you want to put as much knowledge into the company information as physically possible, because this way your AI will be trained exactly for um, that company, right? Plus FAQs. So um, whatever the FAQs are for that niche. So for example, roofing, what is soft washing? Why choose soft washing over traditional? Okay, well, this is written for pressure washing actually, but it could just be like, um, let me just go off of this, right? The the, the pressure washing, right? Is uh, you can have like, like a bunch of FAQs on here, right? What areas do you serve? How do I schedule an appointment? What is included in like, for example, roof treatment, right? Um, what information do you need before the, right? Any single question that you can come up with, you have to put it in here because this will only make the bot better and act more and more human. From there, you have an entire automated system, right? That you can then add the trigger to. And once you've added the trigger, um, once you've added the trigger, you can then save it up here. Okay. Now, of course, look, I haven't put the calendar ID or booking ID, but just for you guys to see how it would look is you save it and then save and exit. And what you would do is you would go over here to integrations. Okay. You'd go over here to integrations and you would click this go high level integrations and then put the snapshot into go high level. Now I can't do that right now because otherwise I have to disconnect my entire thing, but that's the exact AI system that we are using inside of my agency that I highly, highly recommend you guys use as well. Just because like I was saying, if you can um, evade churning people and you can actually set meetings this way where you don't have to do anything and you can just kind of fire them off, right? And you can acquire clients and not have so much team members on your team, you can scale to the moon. Because if you don't have that many people and you don't have that much overhead, and let's say you are making 20, 30, 40K per month after a long time, then you don't have that much team members to take care of. You literally just have the AI to get better and better and better from there. Okay. So this is the exact system that we are using for booking appointments, using AI, guaranteeing 100K because I know that our offers, our creatives, our copy, our AI systems, our entire agency can get them 100K plus from working with us over an hour offer. And of course, I'm not going to give you guys my offer on this video, but I just wanted to show you guys exactly how we are using this AI software to book us a bunch of meetings to make my agency better and to do much, much better. So I highly recommend you guys to use it. And if you guys have any other questions about this entire system, let me know below in the comments, ask any questions, whatever videos you guys would like me to make. And of course, if you guys want to work with me one-to-one, -one, click that link below. Um, you won't regret it to be completely honest. Watch the video, 
um, see what I have to offer, see if it makes sense for you. And if it does make sense, I'll see you on the other side. If it doesn't, no problem at all. Just keep watching my videos and keep learning as much as possible. But yeah, definitely incorporate AI into you guys' agencies. You guys won't regret it. I'm already early on the move and you guys should be as well.